to me, what it comes down to is so many Republicans for so long have just been fighting for uh, like these niche interests in their in their districts, right? right? And you can kind of get away with that because it doesn't really affect other people, like the, the people outside of that niche. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so now they're at this point where this is going to affect people across the board. If, if it's not you specifically, it will be, you know, your parents or your brother or your sister or your right. mother, father-in-law. Like you will know somebody who is using some form of this Affordable Care Act. It's going to see it go away, right? And so, like, that's the t- that's the tough calculation for them is you're going to have a lot of those chickens come home to roost, and it's sort of critical mass now, right? And I I, th- I think we're going to see a lot of Republicans just get tossed completely. I think so tossed. too. Uh, another Axios plug: there is get it. A great- Axios.com, y'all. <laughs> yes, uh, sign up for our newsletters. Mike Allen got an amazing uh, sneak peek of this new production. I don't remember who it's from. I should. Um, but it's at the top of the homepage today uh, of the like House seats breakdown for 2018, mm. um, and it basically flips, I think, 20 seats to Democrats. Wow, which really? Which is huge, yeah. So, and that's just that's one day after yeah, this passed it's the House. Immediate, right? And obviously, Holy everything cow. is you know sort of just a speculation right now. But I do think that there are detrimental effects that Senate Republicans, House Republicans could face for pushing this through. Especially so quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. like, what what were they really benefiting from by pushing it through the House so quickly, besides that, having a relative win? I, I actually wanted to ask you about that. Because, so here they are now. They have the presidency. They have the House. They have the Senate. They have the time now right. to work on something and sell on its merits. I don't think that they did a very good job of selling this bill and say, like, this bill will help people because of blank, right? right like they right. they can't make that argument. They can yeah. go out and say, "Well, this isn't Obamacare," and so that's right. But like, why not? Why not do that? Again, I think they just wanted to get it off their hands, and I think that this is Donald Trump's first major legislation that he has passed. And with a week long recess and another recess coming up in August, I think they are just really hoping to move forward. I think announcing the tax reform plan last week was a strategic move because they have said they won't move on to that until they pass health reform through the House. So that was sort of a preview of like, we're serious and we're doing this. I think it was too hasty, um, but I think it's partisan politics. I think they wanted to win, they got to win. We'll see what happens when it's in the Senate. I do think, though, that when you're dealing with something that would affect, you know, one sixth of the U.S. economy and everyone in the U.S., you should wait for the CBO report at minimum. Yeah, I, I will say, like, but, the optics on this, as they say, are not very good. Right. Um, and and I don't understand why. I, I really do keep coming back to that. Like, why not just I mean, it, it, like if you want to get it done in the first hundred days? Right. Okay, that's a that's a goal. Well, we're past that, so who cares? Right. Well, also, though, we just heard that clip from Paul Ryan, who was like, we, some of us have waited seven years to yeah. make this very vote. And that, I think, is honestly the That's main why. driving factor. That's they why. have. That was all of their campaign promises. Donald Trump said it from day one. He would repeal into place on the same day. Certainly, that's not possible. <laughs> right. It hasn't happened. That's not how things but, work. Exactly. But, like, I think that's their driving force. It's like, we said we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And, you know, bringing it full circle, that's why Donald Trump got elected. People think that he does what he says he will do, and that's what he is trying to show.